Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I have been boondocking in my F-150 2017 right there, Lear cab on the back, for over two years now. I uh, sleep in the back. There it is. Uh, people say, how do you live in your truck? I don't live in my truck. I sleep in my truck. I drive in my truck. I keep my stuff in the truck. See those houses there? I've said this before. Million dollar houses. You know what they're looking at? My truck. You know what I'm looking at? Their million dollar house and this gorgeous beach view. <laughs> you see my point a little bit on that? Yeah. Yeah. It's a gorgeous day. Early February 2021. Loving life. Hey, Austin Rat. Yeah, Austin Rat. Roll my intro. Absolutely gorgeous afternoon, Rockport, Texas. Uh, it's almost 70 degrees. I think 68, 69 degrees. A thank you to Aliska Torres. And I hope I'm pronouncing your first name right. I apologize if I'm not. Uh, sent me a very generous gift through my uh, PayPal account listed in the description. And uh, very thoughtful, very kind, and I uh, greatly uh, appreciate it. Definitely going right into the gas tank. Thank you very much, my friend. So guys, if you see me at the beach and you want to come say hello, that is not my truck. <laughs> that is a standard truck. Uh, I am obviously the evil twin, although we are similar in appearance. You guys know what type of underwear he wears? Pelican briefs. Yep. Where you going, bird? Bird. It was a uh, big morning this morning, guys. Went into Walmart first thing, got my supplies for the day, and then I uh, went directly to the laundromat. Uh, I hadn't done laundry in about two weeks, so uh, got caught up on that, and then I spent quite a bit of time cleaning out the back of my truck and uh, answering the comments from uh, this morning's video. Another big day. I'm getting hungry. Hard to believe I'm getting hungry, isn't it? Like I said, guys, I was in Walmart first thing this morning. Grabbed 12 of these uh, sausage uh, meatballs for uh, $3.31. They were marked down. So I decided that's what I was having for uh, lunch and dinner today. Got a bag of broccoli for a dollar. And I got a uh, package of uh, instant uh, mashed potatoes for a dollar. Uh, the ones you just boil the water, add two cups of water, and they come out pretty good. Uh, I still have that little uh, parquet squeeze uh, margarine left and uh, some salt and pepper. And I was real happy uh, with this. Uh, heated everything up right in the uh, pan. I'm going to eat it out of the pan because I'm lazy. And uh, <laughs> yeah, really good. And now I still got dinner left. I'm um, going to just put it in one of my uh, little uh, Tupperware type containers, storage containers. And uh, I'll just have to heat it up later or knowing me, I'll probably just eat it just like this. But yeah, that was a really good meal and something a little bit different for me. Well, guys, I do want to run over to the mail center before it closes. It's getting a little bit later than today. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Earlier when I was cooking, the sea rats were uh, nowhere to be found, but... I guess they smelled what I was cooking, as the rock would say, <laughs> and uh, came a-running, or a flying in this instant. Yeah, I haven't checked the mail since uh, Friday and Monday. There's usually uh, some bills and letters, and uh, I am expecting a package that someone gave me a heads up that they uh, were going to send me, so maybe we'll get some fun toys to play with today can't get over how nice it is i can't get over how much time i wasted <laughs> waiting around lately where 
we keep waiting for the Klein building to move and uh, spent two days waiting for an oil rig to move. Now, the official reason was the tugboats that they use to uh, get that thing going and get it in the water, they couldn't budge it. So I guess it needs some more engineering to make it uh, travel a little easier. Well, guys, I went over to the mail center and I got a package from Amazon. And I think I know what's in here because uh, it's making a little rattling noise. Yep. I got an awesome metal bowl and a metal plate. And uh, they're from Judy. So thank you very much, uh, Judy. I appreciate it. She told me ahead of time that there was uh, other things coming. So they match my little cups and my coffee pot. You get a thumbs up. You get an OK. Uh, you get the uh, walking uh, dinosaur. You get bunny rabbit ears. Uh, there's a T-Rex for you or an alligator, <laughs> whatever you prefer. Thank you, though, Judy. Seriously, these are awesome. They're not going to blow away. Live long and prosper. All right, guys. So I'm watching the pigeon on the left. And that looks like a pigeon on the right. But his left-hand side has normal colors. And his right-hand side is kind of all white. So... Like, this is his all-white side, kind of, you know. And then when he turns around, his other side isn't identical. And I think it's a, just a standard pigeon. I could be wrong. See that? You can kind of get a good look. He's got, like, a gray wing. And he's got a white wing on, on, the right, on his right side. So I'm completely baffled. That's what his butt looks like. I know some of you were uh, requesting more bird butt shots, but... I've never seen anything like that. That is pretty awesome. I guess it's similar to like when a dog has, you know, different color face, but I don't know. I don't know enough about birds. Pigeon? Sure. Maybe. I don't know. Where's my bird book? <laughs> 1985. Wow, the interior. Is that the original interior? Um, the back seat is. I've got the original seat, and I actually just found the, the honey lever interior. Oh, okay. Or honey Levi, they call it. It's really sharp looking. I like it. All right, I'm going to leave you alone now. Right, <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Yeah, Do you know why the waiters were always happy when the pelican came into the restaurant? Because they knew, no matter what, he was going to have a large bill. Yep. Pelican was going to have a large bill. Well, guys, I spent about 40 minutes making some repairs. Uh, my little hanging battery-operated lights, uh, two of them had cracked uh, where they screw together. So I just uh, put some electrical tape around them. And then whenever I do need to change the batteries, I'll just have to take that off. But that's once every six months or so, so not a big deal. Uh, my little uh, beach chair uh, picked up just a bolt and some uh, nuts to uh, replace a broken bolt on that, so that's as uh, good as new. And I sharpened my knives and oiled them uh, in this high humidity. Um, I need to do that every few weeks or else they'll uh, start to get a little rust on them. And I'll just use some WD-40. I do have some uh, special sandpaper that I use to sharpen them that came with them. So just as if I had a normal house. About uh, six minutes to official sundown. And uh, just a beautiful day, guys. A light breeze, nothing like it has been the last few days. So... Uh, was able to get a lot done. Really enjoyed the uh, the weather today. I want to thank uh, Andy and his family for a gift. Thank you, Andy. And I can't wait to dog watch again. That's not bad, guys. The uh, official sunset time was uh, 6.08 today. So uh, a little cooler overnight. But um, really comfortable sleeping great time of year to be in South Texas. Amazing sunsets and hanging out with good people. I appreciate y'all guys. Stay safe and warm. 
Thanks for watching.